Stop the Bleeding is made possible by Shire. Hello and welcome to Bleeding Disorders. I'm your host. Yeah, I need more light on the cast. Can we get a little bit more light, please? Also, we are seconds away, so can we get Lost Looks? Lost Looks flying in, bro. Oh, you bros excited for your big debut? La Television, am I right? Don't move. Great. Robocytopenia is severely underrepresented on TV. In fact, it's never represented on TV. Thrombo... Thrombocytopenia? It's a platelet deficiency, so basically the antibodies that should be attacking my infection attack my platelets instead. Oh. I guess your antibodies are just confused. Samantha! Sandy. Right, and you? Uh, Petey. Alright, switch seats. It should be sickle cell, then platelet deficiency. I have sickle cell. Awesome. Yeah, and he has the platelet deficiency. Okay, great. Or thrombocytopenia. Hey. And what about you? Oh, uh, Factor 5. Oh! oh. Stacy? Stacy! Huh? What? Stacy? Hey, um, can we fly the tree, please? Okay, thank you. No, I need more light, man. Oh. Brighter! More light, Brighter. man! Brighter! Everyone standing by to go. Let's do this, let's do this. Going live in five, no. four, Brighter. three, Brighter. two. Let's go! I need more light. No show. Just flip the circuit breaker. We're not live, we're nothing. My plants, my babies, they need light. The circuit breaker, flip right, Listen, it. people, let's not freak out. There must be something we can do. The circuit breaker is in the basement. I'd be the first to volunteer to go down to the basement, which I'm sure isn't terrifying at all, but alas, I'm allergic to mold. Many great leaders are afraid of the dark. I'm also allergic to mold. Me too. Definitely allergic to mold. All right, it looks like this mold allergy thing is just going around. I guess we'll have to draw straws. One should never attend an event or group setting without the appropriate number of straws. What are you really asking? All right, this interview's over. To our brave search party, May you find whatever it is you're looking for out the there. The breaker. Please find the breaker. And may you return to us safely. If you return at all. At all. All right, bros. Forget about it, all right? Anything that comes across us in that basement, I can handle. As long as it's below an orange belt. What's above an orange belt? Okay, so you got purple. Hey, uh, we drew short straws too. It seemed like they could use some moral support. And that's when they realized the lady who drove them home had been dead for a billion years. Ooh. I wish I knew a ghost. Think of the stories. Some people love the spotlight. And some people definitely don't. Like the Olsen twins. They're very private. Well, call me Michelle Tanner because I really don't want to be on TV. Uh, your face looks like my face when I can't find a snack. Oh. oh. Well, yeah, both of my parents have sickle cell, so I do too. To get the gene, both parents have to be carriers. I guess you can say it always runs in the family. <laughs> yeah, uh, speaking of runs in the family, I'm pretty sure the breaker is that way, so why don't we make a break for it and run that way, fam. Are you sure that it's gonna be safe to split up? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, only dum-dums who stick together in horror movies are the first ones to die. I'm pretty sure it's the exact opposite. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Oh. Oh! oh. A blueprint map to the basement. Looks like the breaker is that way. Oh. Okay. Um, so why is it named a sickle cell anyway? Well, 
Actually, it's named after the farming tool sickle because the red blood cells look like sickles or crescent moons, unlike the usual round donut shape. <laughs> huh. I donut know that. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy's pretty sickle herself, but now I can't stop thinking about donuts. Honestly, the older I get, the less I like being in the spotlight, feeling like I have to perform. Mm. I can't imagine. And yet I completely understand. She kept talking. I kept finding snacks. They must be related, right? As the oldest of nine and the only girl, there was always this extra attention on me. I was practically a mother to eight boys. It was exhausting. Mm. And now you're more comfortable off to the side. Hmm. I guess so. I hadn't put that together before. <laughs> Talking to Benny has actually been helpful. His analytical skills are surprisingly acute. Well, our past is a puzzle. And our present is... Oh, a penny! Spencer is my best friend. And now Jamie is my best friend. I have two best friends. I will not budge on that. And I found a penny. It's a heck of a day. Hey, you guys look like you've got it sorted out, wherever you are. I'm gonna stay here and supervise from this side. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is fine. This is good. Oh! Hey! Hi! Hey! Hey! Hi, Brandon. Hey. hey, what's up? Hey, uh, you know, I always used to be really afraid. Oh. Oh, I'm not afraid. Good. Yeah. It's good for you. I just, I know for me, Factor Five deficiency was really scary because I was always afraid of getting hurt. How'd you get over your fear? Well, um, with the support of my social worker, who helped me realize that I had a bigger fear of missing out on fun stuff. If it hadn't been for her, I would have sat out of gym class for an entire year. I'm really glad I listened. Hmm. I got the message. Smart kid. But I wasn't scared. I don't scare that easy. Reminds me of my drug-induced thrombocytopenia. Ah! Yeah, it's like when I found out my seizure medication was giving me a side effect, low platelet count, a deficiency. I couldn't believe that medication was actually making me sick, you know? I just wanted to freak out and blame everybody. So what'd you do? I freaked out and blamed everybody. Makes sense. But then I got to work. And, you know, learning about my diagnosis, its treatment, Getting good at living with this challenge, it helped me not freak out. Hey, Breaker. Ooh, Carol. Oh. Oh. Maybe it's just me, but it's actually more fun to watch other people shine. Uh, tell me about it. Oh, I love to sit off to the side, I clap, I watch. It feels good like a proud parent. Without having to ever actually have kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always figured that you and Spencer would have like a billion babies. Oh, no way. Hmm? I had enough of being a parent to my brothers, hmm? and now I've got that one who's got the energy yeah. of all eight combined. Yeah, slow, go slow, slow down. Having kids is just not in the books. No way, no how. <laughs> and don't even get me started on marriage. Oh. <laughs> yes. We got the lights. Oh, oh. 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 We got the lights. Oh, oh.
got the lights. We got the lights. We got the lights. <laughs> you did it. The lights, bros. At first we split up, but then we did it together. Oh, isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Okay, so we have a show to put on. The live feed is over, Eddie. I am so sorry that we won't be able to share your stories today. Great! Well, I did it again. Eddie Sweetie really botched it this time. Come on, Eddie! All I wanted was to be heard. No, Eddie, you don't have to blame yourself or freak out. Just think of this as a learning experience. You're very wise, Stacy. Wait a minute. We don't need a TV to talk and learn about each other? I genuinely can't believe I'm saying this, but I think Slater's right. Sandy, Frankie, Petey, I'd love to hear more about sickle cell and platelet deficiency and factor five, if you guys are down. Yeah, me too. I mean, you guys, I've already learned so much already, but maybe we could record this on our phones? Yeah, I can see why not. Learning and recording. We got a show. Ooh. We got a show. Ooh. We got a show. <laughs> we got a show. Thanks for helping me unpack some stuff Welcome today. To oh, yeah. And that whole not wanting to get married and have kids thing. Let's just keep that between us. Okay. Oh, well, if it isn't my favorite, too. Oh, what a group we have. I love that we have such an appetite for knowledge and an appetite for adventure and an appetite for cheeseburgers. Is anyone else hungry? I'll drive. A passenger. <laughs> I'm happy to see you getting along so well lately. It means even more to me that you'll be my best man. Oh, wow. Spencer, that is so kind of you. But clearly you're a better man than I am. Also, Tom Hanks seems like a really great guy. No, I mean the best man for my wedding. I'm gonna propose to Jamie. <laughs> Coming! Shotgun! <laughs> 